The last three windows, you know, there, there, there's, there's been interest. You know, it's flattering. You know, it shows from when I left Liverpool to taking, going to Notts County on loan to now coming to Blackpool. You know, it shows you can take different routes in the, in the game and, you know, and still end up maybe being back at the top. And, you know, I feel that the timing of the last three windows and the opportunities that I could have took, you know, it, 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 I didn't have that gut feeling and I was still young. I still wanted to get more games under my belt. And, you know, I feel that now I've made a great decision over the last few windows to, to keep playing my train in the Championship because the Championship each year gets stronger. You know, you get QPR, Harry Rennap, you know, it's like there's the money he brings in, the players he brings in. You've got Nico Cronchard playing the Championship, he's played at Champions League football, you know. So people underestimate the quality and the, how hard the, the Championship is. But, you know, for me, playing at Blackpool and being top of the league shows that, you know, we're, we're doing something in the right direction. And it shows me that I'm playing football at a high level and it, that can only bring me confidence for, for later on if, if, I do, if I do decide to move on. I agree with you completely on the, on the quality of the, the Tottenham Championship. How difficult and how seriously did you have to consider bids from sort of, you know, Tottenham and that sort of side? Yeah, massive. You know, listen, Tottenham's an unbelievable club. You know, you're, like, you've got, you're selling people like Gareth Bale for world record fees to Real Madrid, Real Madrid bringing in Roberto Saldado and Paulinho, Brazilian internationals, you know. So they're players who, who are playing on the world stage and, you know, for me, a young player, you know, would I have gone to Tottenham and, and got some first team? Maybe not, but I don't, I don't expect to go anywhere and be guaranteed first team football. That, that comes with hard work and, you know, people can only show you the door. You have to walk through it, but I didn't feel it was the right timing for me. You know, I'd just come back from injury. Uh, my family are based in the North West, you know, but I'm enjoying my football at Blackpool at the minute. You know, I'm, 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 I've earned the right to be the first name on the team sheet. You know, I've, I'm scoring goals, I'm enjoying my football. You know, and because I'm 21 years of age, I've got a lot of years ahead of me. You know, if you'd asked me the question now as 30, 31, then you wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a Blackpool player. But, you know, because I'm still young and I'm still learning the game, there's plenty of time for me. And, you know, I'm timing it right. And I've got a great advisor, my dad, you know, who can help me along the way. But right now I'm happy being top of the league with Blackpool, that's for sure. Tom, you mentioned earlier that the step down to Notts County. How important is that for younger players, not just yourself, oh. um, to, to build a platform for the future? Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I like to, not so much for what I've done in the game so far, but I like to be an example for players who, you know, who are at the top academies who are getting to 19, 20 years of age. So, you know what, I said, go and play at League One, go and play with players who graft each week in, week out to, for their families, you know, to support their kids. You know, it, that opened my eyes and I see it as the real world and I look back and I think, I never regret that decision leaving Liverpool. You know, I could have stayed there for an extra three or four years and, you know, had the, the niceties of football, but would I have been playing first team football? Possibly not, I don't know, but, this decision I made has only helped me for, for later on in life. And at the minute, you know, I see that as a great decision. England 21, something you've been involved in. How difficult is it to, to, to make the progression right from under 21 to seniors? We've seen Andrews Townsend pulled up with yeah. a couple of great performances that this for, for, for Spurs. Um, how would you get the progression right from 21 to seniors? How do you see it fit? I think when you're with the 21s, you know, you're playing with a lot of players who are playing in the Premier League as well. You know, I mean, they may not start, but, you know, they're all players who are amongst the first team. So there's a, a major amount of quality. I know the senior team, obviously, over the last tournaments they've been to, you know, there's a, there's a good depth of young talent in the 21s. You know, the summer obviously didn't show it up. Everyone was disappointed with the summer. But now with a new regime, new ideas, a whole new young batch of players going into the 21s. You know, it can only be bright for the future and as, when you play for that 21s, you have to have one eye on, yeah, playing well for the 21s, but knowing that if I can get some good performances, work hard for my team, then that, 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 that call around the corner for the senior team can happen. Like you see, Ross Barkley last night, and Josh Townsend, Raheem Sterling, Wilfred Zaha. So there's names there reeled off that are going to be involved in the first team and there'll be a lot more players who'll be looking to grab that chance. <laughs> I think it's hard, you know, when you get the, the top five, six teams and the pressure they're on to win games, you know, it's very hard to, you know, throw in the youngsters, you know, the young, the young English players, you know, and there's a lot of foreigners coming into the game, which makes it which makes it very, very difficult. But that has to be the young English players who have to put that aside and say, no, I want to be there, I want to do this, like your Jack Wilshers, you know, Danny Welbeck, you know, people like that, who Phil Jones at Man United, Chris Smalling, you know, who have sort of put that aside, yeah, there's a lot of foreigners in the game. But if you want to reach the top, then you have to bypass that. You have to be strong enough mentally to go and work harder than anyone else. And, you know, yeah, it's difficult for young players to not be able to get as much game time as they want in the Premier League. But that's when I say to all, the Championship is a good enough level as well. You know, if, if you take a step back, whether it's a loan move like Tom Carroll's done, like Andres Townsend did, 
you know, it benefits them in a massive way. And if you're playing football week in and week out, then you're building confidence and all that can do is bring best performances. It's tough for you to see people like Scott Sinclair, like Victor Moses, having to sort of reconsider their options after making what is a great move in the first place. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, it's, very, it's very difficult. You look at Scott, however, however well he done at Swansea, you know, absolutely fantastic. Victor Moses at Wigan, you know. After that season when he went down, he was absolutely tremendous and rightly so, he got his move to Chelsea. Obviously, in Rafa there, he played a little bit more. And now Mourinho, he's gone to Liverpool. You know, for Victor, he's made a great move to Liverpool. You know, as Brendan. Again, Scott Sinclair had to take a step away. It's a shame because they're bright players, but aren't given the chance to go and do it. You know, maybe they may get 15, 20 minutes here or, you know, one game in the Europa League or in the Cup game. But players like that need to be playing week in, week out and developing because they're still young lads, you know, and what they've got is a tremendous amount of talent. And I'm definitely sure you know, with the clubs they're at now and the, the, the game time they'll get, I'm sure they'll be back in the England fold.